All right, so this is my Z Flip 3 5G phone, and uh, I really like this phone. It's waterproof and everything. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to my Starlink system. And uh, so I'm gonna set the phone down so we can kind of see what we're doing here. Uh, so I put, yeah, there we go. All right. Um, so what we're looking at here is a progressive web app. It's just a web page that connects to a low power Bluetooth module inside a battery that is plugged into my Starlink over there. Uh, so I've got a Starlink mini system that's magnet mounted to the roof of the car. And that thing that you see in front of the Starlink is clipped into the Starlink and it holds the Starlink securely. That is the Peak Do Link Power One battery system. And uh, so let me zoom out here. So I can actually turn on and off the battery system um, and provide power to the Starlink at any time. So now I'm powering up the Starlink system right now. So it's Bluetooth, but low energy, which means it'll run for probably months that way. Uh, you basically only have to charge it when you, you know, want to charge it and um, it'll just last a really long time. Now that's not powering the Starlink, but when you do power the Starlink, you'll get about four hours and 20 minutes on average. I've seen people get about that up to about uh, four and a half hours. I've seen some people get it just really depends um, on where you're at and how much you're using your Starlink. So the uh, cool thing is I could turn on and off my Starlink from inside the vehicle. So imagine I'm driving down the road and I don't have a cable plugged in or going through the window or anything like that. I just magnet mount to the roof, just set it down and forget it. And it just works. And it'll tell me um, I have about 4.5 hours remaining at 97%. Um, it jumps up and down depending on how much power is being consumed to run the Starlink system. So currently I'm running 22.4 now drop down. So uh, yeah, so we're we're golden here. So we're going to get some pretty good run time if I'm mostly idle. Uh, if I start, you know, downloading, you know, you know files or you know interacting with the internet streaming stuff you know like a video or something like that it's obviously going to be pulling a little bit more bandwidth and uh, therefore uh, work that phased array antenna system a bit more plus the wireless uh, so there's a built-in wi-fi router on the starlink mini system so all in all though the power consumption is ridiculously good on the starlink mini system and uh, this Peak Do Link Power One battery system is like the perfect solution uh, for basically grab and go carry situation. So let me show you this case. Uh, this is a generic case. You can pick them up for probably around $25, $30 off eBay. Uh, there's a bunch of different makers of these things, uh, but you can also get a waterproof suitcase as well. I have one of those, um, but it's not outfitted yet for the Starlink. So let me uh turn off the starlink so that i can pick it up and move it over here and i'll show you uh some more information that you might want to know about this so i have the little vinyl sticker on the top and on the bottom just for a little bit of extra protection against dings and scratches plus it kind of gives a little bit of camouflage if you're throwing it out in the woodsy area or something but you can see I have three magnets here. They are rubber-coated rubber, uh, rubber -coated magnets. I think they're neodyninium magnets or something like that. And uh, they just screw in or out of the threaded inserts built into the battery. There are three of them. I would not recommend you set these down because they lock down real tight, okay? So they lock down real tight. Um, so I've kind of got it on a curved spot here so I can pick it up. But anyway, these magnets are real darn strong. And, uh, you know, but what I do when storing this thing in the bag, and I'm going to show you that here in a second. What I do is I take and I throw three of these magnets together like so. Actually, I do this one underneath. I pick them all up and I'll carry that with me. And then I've got my Starlink system. Let's come over here. 
set that right there. <sighs> got a lot of dust in here, but I've got my original cable, a uh, couple of cables. I've got uh, the original cable plus a different cable for different scenarios with this thing. Um, and then I have the original charging brick. And then this will just sit down here. And then I'll just throw my cords on top of it as a added padding or whatever. But I can fit more stuff in here as needed. Um, so I will put the Starlink mini system here. And then what I'll do is I will set this with the battery side facing where the handle is. And then this gets strapped in. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then guess what? I can set this on a picnic table or just on the ground, hood of the car, whatever. Anywhere where I have open view of the sky. And guess what? This still works. I can turn on and off my Starlink system. And then once this boots up, connect to the Wi-Fi. And now I can make receive phone calls out in the middle of nowhere. And I don't even have to take it out of the case. This will also work on a ABS uh, plastic. So if you have a... Um, really well built sturdy waterproof uh case that is um you know abs plastic or something like that uh, it'll also work just fine through there uh, no service de degradation of any kind now you do have to keep in mind in hot weather the battery uh when the starlink is being used it will generate a little bit of heat so i wouldn't recommend it in hot weather but definitely in colder weather uh this will be perfect so the other cool thing is, is that this is also a battery bank and a, um, yeah, it's a battery bank. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I can also charge my phone right now with this uh, system. So let me show you that in action. So I'm going to take this out. It's on right now. And uh, let's see if I got the right cables with me. Oh yeah, I I can just use, I've got a cable here. All right. So just a USB-C to USB-C cable. Just plug it in. And then plug it in. Okay, and we should be showing we are charging. We are, in fact, charging my phone off of this at the same time. And the cool thing is, is now I can see how many watts my phone is pulling. I'm pull, pulling 14 watts at 9.1 volts at 1.6 amps, so 14.5 watts. So we are fast charging my phone right now. Of course, it'll draw... A little more power away from the battery but in a pinch i could use this as a battery bank on the go so there we go that's pretty cool i just wanted to share with uh, people this little setup but there's one more thing i wanted to talk about so you don't have to have this system on a expensive plan you can totally get away with a five dollar a month standby mode plan which was just recently introduced it replaces the pause plan and instead of the pause plan which is zero dollars a month you switch it over to the standby uh, standby mode it's you can uh, leave it that way for up to one year but you will have to uh, change out to a different plan or cancel uh, you know inside of that year but at any time you can switch over to the standby mode plan and for five dollars a month it's unlimited data but it's limited to roughly about 500 kilobits per second up and down so asymmetrical still has the same low latency that the satellite system does have um but now you have enough data to make and receive phone calls light web browsing low quality youtube or other videos on the internet um but you'll also be able to do your email you'll be able to do uh you know, low, low bandwidth video conferencing. Um, you'll be able to do uh, just a whole bunch of things. Uh, audio streaming. You might still be able to actually play some games because uh, gaming doesn't really use up that much bandwidth unless it's streamed online. 
Um, so you really do have a lot of options still on the $5 a month plan. And so that's what I now have this set to. So I don't have any plans to use a lot of bandwidth at my office uh, for a little while. So I will leave it at the $5 a month plan just to save a little bit of money because I am paying for the Starlink uh, residential plan. And I do have my Starlink system over there. Sorry about the mess. Um, but it's sitting right over there. So that is my uh, Alien on a Stick standard V2 uh, articulated or actuated system. So that is the second generation of the Starlink system. And I've converted that over to 12 volt. And so it has less power consumption. Plus I did the router delete and bypass, uh, which basically means I use my own router now. And uh, so I save bandwidth there, but have more features. Um, or not bandwidth, but uh, yeah, I, I have better features all the way around because I'm using my own router and I have a little more control. So I can, you know, do quality service on certain devices and certain applications. So I just wanted to point that out. It's a really cool system. I also have a tripod that threads into this right there. Uh, so it can be standing in the grass uh, without interference of, let's say, wet grass or something, or just keep it out of a, a puddle. So, yeah, there we go. That's the system. Well, I'm going to go ahead and power down the Starlink. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is just reach over to the top of the app and just click there. Now the Starlink is off. But I can always access it wirelessly.